Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we are continuing with our economy plugin, Day Economy. And in this episode, we are going to be creating player accounts, but we're going to be doing a few house cleaning things before we get started into that. Um, by house cleaning, I mean we're going to be adding a few things and adjusting a few things. So in our message manager here, we're going to go ahead and add player good, player bad, player info. And it's pretty much going to take all the same parameters, except for it's going to just be player.sendMessage, then the color that we want, and then our message. Then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and go over to GitHub for this. Um, we're going to be using my uh, the classic command manager class and sub command manager class that I always use for pretty much every plugin I make. Um, this will be all in GitHub. I didn't think it was necessary to make a whole entire video over this because I already have in the past. So I didn't really want to have to explain it again. Um, I'll try to remember to leave a link to the video where we go over the command manager here. Um, but some of the important things on here is we have an array list of all of our commands. Then we have an instance of our main class. We have a private string main, which is going to be our main command, right? So it's going to be slash daycon. And then we have a setup method here. And then we have the on command, which will all the commands will pass through. So keep that in, in the back of your mind for right now, because we are going to be needing it. So just uh, remember that. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to open that. So then the next thing we're going to do is in our main class here, we obviously need to run that setup, right? So we need to just go ahead and run a private command manager, command manager in our instance here. We're going to go ahead and say command manager equals new command manager. And then in our setup, we are just going to go ahead and say command manager dot setup. So now that we have that running, we can go ahead and get setting up our economy plugin. So one of the first things we have to do is we obviously have to check to make sure we have vault. And if we do have vault, we need to go ahead and register our economy, making sure that we have our economy plugin registered. So what we're going to do for that, is we're just going to go ahead and create a private Boolean. And we're going to call this setup economy. Now you can call it economy setup, uh, whatever floats your boat. So we're just going to go ahead and run a quick check. We're going to go ahead and say if get server dot get get plugin, nope, not get player get plugin manager if I can get the right thing here uh, get plugin we want to go ahead and look for vault uh, if it equals null we're just gonna go ahead and return false because we don't want anything to happen and then else if not we're just gonna go ahead and get server that get service services manager then we're gonna go just register let's get rid of that V there we want economy dot class so then we want our economy class right so we haven't made an instance of that yet so we're gonna go ahead and say public and what do we name it we named it economy core and we'll just call this economy core then down here we'll just go ahead and register equals a new economy core perfect so now we can just say economy core then we're going to go ahead and say this class is our main class or our plugin class. And then we want service priority highest. All right. Then we're just going to go ahead and run a quick message. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and say console. Good. And we will just say economy has been registered. And then now in here, we're just going to go ahead and say Message manager, bad economy could not be registered. Vault is missing. Sorry if you heard that giant truck go by. All right, then we're just gonna go ahead and return this as true. Great. So now in our main class here, we wanna go ahead and obviously run this so after we do all this we're going to go ahead and say if setup economy so if not setup economy so if it returns false um we'll actually just grab this message and then we're just going to go ahead and say get server dot get plugin plugin manager dot disable plugin and we're going to disable this plugin and then we're going to return else we're just going to go ahead and say message manager console good 
and we'll just say has successfully launched oops so I can spell launched all right so our plugin has successfully launched all right so now that we have that set up we can actually go ahead and let's just go ahead and export this real quick here just so we can make sure that our economy is launching so let me go ahead and grab the plugin folder we'll wait for it to finish exporting here all right so we run this all right so if we scroll back up here we can see database connected economy has been registered and our plugin has successfully launched it except for it didn't put a, a name in front of it so we will just go ahead and just say uh plugin uh, get name we didn't do any prefixes um you know what? let's just go ahead into our our message manager here and let's just go ahead and say private string prefix equals uh, and let's just say check color dot aqua oh no let's just do let's just do dark green and we would just call this the economy we'll put a little space down there so that way we know the difference all right so now we can just go ahead and just add oops right into here We'll just say prefix plus, and we need this to be static as well, because these are all static. So we'll just copy this, paste it into all of these spots here. All right, so now let's go ahead and re-export this. I'll try this again. <laughs> and if we go ahead and run a reload here, we can see there, day economy database connected, day economy has been registered, and has successfully launched. All right, so we know that we are successfully launching into our database. So now the first thing we're going to do is just going to be simply um, setting up a create account command, right? So to create a player account, we're gonna make it really easy. Like we don't want it to be super hard, um, which is why we're going to make it so easy. So under our commands and We'll create a new class here and we will call this create player account command. I know it's super long and we're going to say extends our sub command class, which will be in the description or it will be on GitHub. We're going to imp implement all these classes and now we're actually going to make a new package here. I'm going to call this manager and we're just going to pop these inside of there. Refactor. And we're gonna refactor this or refactor this and we're just gonna get rid of that managers name there Just so it's just commands manager perfect So inside of here, we obviously need to go ahead and get an instance of our main class once more. So the economy main And we'll call this plugin Equals the economy main dot get plugin perfect So now what we're gonna say in here is this is going to be player player string args everything is good so our command name is going to be create account our info will be this command is used to create a player account great and we don't need any aliases because i don't like aliases we'll just keep it simple so we'll go ahead and say if plugin dot mongo connect so what we're doing here is we need to check to see if a player already exists, right? So how we do that is we go ahead and we get our database from our Mongo Connects class, which has our get player data. So we want the get player data, right? We don't want the document yet. We want the whole database. So we're just gonna go ahead and say get player data. And you know what we should have? We should really change this. So let's go ahead back to our Mongo Connect here. And we're gonna call this, oops, Mongo Connect. Let's call this get player player data collection because that's what this really is and then we'll go ahead and set player data collection so we're just going to change those there so now we're going to call this get player data collection we want to find and now what we're going to do here in our find is we're going to say well what are we looking for right well we want to find a, a document so we're going to create a new document with a UUID ident with its main identifier being the UUID as the players dot get um with the players 
uh, UUID. So we want to go ahead and cast that to a string. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and just find the first and if it equals null, it means that it doesn't exist in the database. So then we can go ahead and say plugin. And we got to do one more thing here. Uh, I've totally forgot a step. We have to create our player manager class. Now this is like super, super easy. It's going to take us all of 10 seconds to create. Well, depending how I want to do this. So what we need to do is we're just going to go ahead and create a new package over here. And we're going to call this player. Then inside of here, we're going to create a new class. We're going to call it player manager. In this class, we're going to have a private string UUID private double balance, private double bank account, private day economy, plugin equals day economy dot get plugin. And then of course we want to go ahead and get a private Mongo connect, Mongo connect equals plugin dot Mongo connect. Now we're doing this so that way we don't have to type plugin dot get Mongo connect every single time. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and insert a document or a constructor. We only need it for these first three. Great. Then inside of here, what we want to do is we want to just run a document document equals a new document. Oops, always importing the wrong document. Make sure we're importing the BSON document. And the new document. And it's going to be, of course, UUID. Then UUID. Then what we're going to say is if Mongo connect dot get Mongo player collection dot find document dot first equals null. Then we're going to go ahead and just say document dot append. And we want to add their balance, which is going to be balance. And we want to go ahead and document dot append. We want to bank dash account. You can name these whatever you want. Then we want to just go ahead and put in bank account. And then we're just going to go ahead and say mongo connect get player data collection insert one document now what we're doing here is we're basically whenever we are going to add a player into our player managers uh, encapsulation here it's going to check to see if they exist in the database if they don't it's going to go ahead and just add them into the database or add these default values into the database which is pretty much just going to be zeros all right so now that we have that, we can go ahead and create our getters and setters. Again, only for the first three here. So we're gonna not do anything with the get UID. And we're just gonna actually gonna get rid of set UUID because we're never gonna wanna change their UUID because it always should just be basically their ID. So for in our return, we're gonna go ahead and just cast double here for our get balance. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say mongo connect dot get player data. And we want the document, get player data document. We want balance. And we want it for their UUID. Remember, because we're pulling, we're always going to be pulling directly from the database, right? So then in our get bank account, we can do the same thing. We'll just change this to bank dash account. Great. So now in set, this is going to be a little bit different. We're just going to go ahead and say mongo.playerdata.set set player data document. We want balance, what we're our identifier, which is going to be balance, and then our UUID. So now we can copy this and set bank account. We can do the same thing, and we'll just change this to bank account. All right, so I know I kind of cruised that fast. Uh, this part is not really the hardest part of them all. Oh, we want to go ahead and say bank account there. That could have been that could have presented us with some trouble there in the future. <laughs> All right, so now that we have that done, we can close our player manager. In our main class here, what we need to do is we just need to add one little thing and then we can get started in creating our player account. So what we want to do is we just want to go ahead and say public hash map and we want UUID and then we want our player manager. And this is just going to be player manager hash map equals a new hash map. Great. Okay, so to just go over this quickly here for our uh, create player account. So now that we checked the database and we made sure that they don't, they are not inside the database yet. What we can do now 
is we can say plugin dot player manager hash map dot put and we will get the player that get unique ID and we will say a new player manager and then it's going to be player that get unique ID dot two string and then zero and zero because they're going to have a zero bounds and a zero bank account and now you can see why we wanted to do this check inside of our player manager here which I just closed down of course we did this check in here because when we create it for the first time it's going to check if they're inside the database if they are it's going to add them and then there we go we don't have to do it here we can kind of keep some of our code here a little bit cleaner uh, into the future so then we're just going to go ahead and say you don't have to do all these messages I like doing them just because and we'll say player good we'll say player and then your account has been created and then we'll just say else and this is going to be obviously a player bad your account already exists okay so now in our command manager class here we just want to go ahead and basically add this command so we're just gonna say this dot commands dot add new create player account all right so if we go ahead and export this and we build it let me open up our minecraft here and let me connect to our day economy here so I'll connect all right so as you can see here in our player data we have nothing inside of our player data yet all right so let's just make sure our command works so daycon yep so daycon in day economy works please make sure you have the following arguments so let's just go ahead and say daycon and create player oops or create account all right so when we run the command here you can see there that my account has been created so if we try to run this again you can see that this says my account already exists and if we close down the server and we just check in here we can see there that I have my account in there with my UUID now you can go ahead and put the player's name in there if you want I'm not going to just because I know that I'm going to be the only one using this um, but let's just quickly relaunch the server just so we can see here that even if you um, even if you restart the server you'll still be able to it's still gonna connect to that database and it's still going to make sure that no one has an account so if you go ahead and say daycon create account you can say that it's gonna tell me that my account already exists so that's all I got for you guys today if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe and I know it was a little bit longer we had a few little hiccups and a few little spots that I forgot to uh, create some stuff on but thanks for watching